The United Arab Emirates is making a bold move into space by sending a spacecraft named Hope to Mars. The historic mission is a first for the country, and it took more than six years to plan. Sarah Alamiri is the scientist in charge of the mission. She joins me this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. So how does it feel to have such a critical role in this historic first? It's a mixture of feelings. It's been quite a challenge getting to this point, especially that this is the first time that we do it um, as a country. And it's a completely different design and development methodology for a planetary exploration mission. It's been interesting so far. It's been a great learning progression, and it has been such a privilege to work on this program. And now waiting on Tanagashima Island for the launch um, is an experience unto itself. Uh, uh, waiting for this spacecraft to launch and head towards Mars on a seventh a month journey, arrive there um, and get us some important data about the atmosphere of Mars and the weather system on Mars. So you've spent the better part of this past decade invested in this project. What are you hoping comes from all of your work? So first and foremost is the first objective that we had, uh, and that's developing the skills and talents of uh, the engineers who've been working on this program over the course of the last six years. Uh, this is the uh, first time that we work on a planetary exploration mission and develop such a complex uh, system within our country. And it's been such an, a learning endeavor to progress forward and be able to use science and technology as the propellant for a further diversified economy within the Emirates. Um, for me personally, um, as a science lead on this mission, it's been an interesting endeavor because we've seen more and more students interested in the natural sciences, studying physics so that they can become planetary scientists, and having their passions expanded due to the existence of this mission, and being able to proceed in areas where I myself, as, as, a, as a person growing here, did not even think it was possible to dream of working in space. Um, and that has been the, the best part of this mission, and that's expanding the horizons of the youth um, and providing them new opportunities to be able to work. If they want to be designers and developers and engineers, if they want to be planetary scientists, they're able to today find, find opportunities to be able to work in those uh, sectors. Sarah, you just mentioned inspiring others, and I, I think that young girls are watching this interview. Inspired by you, you are leading the charge in what has historically been a male-dominated field. We know there is still adversity that women are facing in science. Can you speak to some of that? So it's it's been um, interesting, at least from our end um, as a nation, because this program is new in terms of its development, we've been able to capitalize on um, the fact that 56 percent of women, of uh, those in STEM um, education within the UAE are uh, women. And due to this being a new sector, you don't have a lot of these inherent biases of, the, uh, of sectors that have been established well over two, three decades. And um, we were able to uh, find opportunities within it based on merit and based on, on capabilities. And it shows that there's no, um, no boundaries that, that you can't push through and, and, and be able to work and circumvent. And within this program, 34% of, of the team are women. Within the science team, 80% are women. Um, and it shows that that just providing opportunities to, to those that, that are able, that have the talent and are able to provide gives you a diversified workforce and allows you to push forward with the best minds on such programs. Sarah, I love that. I love everything you just said. Thought and intention with hiring, with mentorship. It matters when we're seeing women succeed in industries like yours. I'm so proud to talk to you today. Thank you so much and congratulations on this historic achievement. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.